Good morning, hi. Uh, today we wanted to bring you something a little bit different um, rather than just uh, boat walk rounds and that kind of thing. We're very proud at Val Wyatt that we are the main dealer for Corsiva boats. And although you think we're all probably doing nothing in the winter, this is the kind of thing that's going on. The boats uh, behind me on that truck uh, have just arrived uh, on a non-stop truck. Well, not non-stop, but you know what I mean. That gentleman driving the lorry has come directly from the Corsiva factory to us. Uh, the boats, as you can see, uh, come stacked on that articulated truck. And the first part of our job is to get the straps off uh, and start getting them ready to lift. So those of you familiar with Val Wyatt, we don't actually have a crane here. So what we do uh, is we hire in this vehicle here, which is called a telehandler. Um, and that allows us to put straps on the forks of that and then lift the boats off that transporter um, onto waiting trailers and then we can move them away and lift the next one. While the guys have got to work really carefully uh, and safely within health and safety, there is always a slight pressure with today because the driver uh, is heading back to Poland. Uh, he's on a tight schedule and he wants to get underway as quickly as possible. So it's all hands on deck to carefully uh, get the boats ready for lifting. That involves the straps, as you can see, one of my colleagues on the bow of that boat. Um, and also they just need to make uh, a small cut in the plastic so that if we need to, we can attach lines onto those boats and guide them while they're being lifted up in the air. So as I said, we've now got lines going on, um, which they can use to guide the boats while they're up in the air and safely bring them down level onto the trailers. So just while the guys are prepping the next stage of things, it's worthwhile me pointing out one of the challenges we have when trying to get your boats to you is that these vehicles, as you can imagine, have a finite number of boats they can take. Um, and depending on what boats we ordered, they can, the truck can take more. So we can, with smaller boats, get six on as soon as we order one of the larger boats, which is the Corsiva 690 that's just underneath Chris there at the front by the looks of things. That alters everything and cuts down the number of boats that we can transport to four. So when we're ordering boats, we have to try and factor in the best load uh, to make the logistics of the whole thing work as well as we can. So there is uh, a lot of pressure as you can imagine getting those boats off so I'm actually going to give the guys a little bit of space taking their first one off um, and I'm sure they'll be well in their game by the time we come to the third or fourth so I'll give them that bit of space while they get that one ready to go and that just gives me a chance to take you around and show you one of the other bits of kit we'll be using that helps uh, get these boats ready for you. Um, that's our little tractor which you will if you're a Val Wire berth holder you will have seen around the yard that's all hooked up ready to the first trailer uh, and once the guys get that boat um, that first boat uh, lifted up with the telehandler they'll be bringing that little tractor around and uh, getting that ready um, to put the first boat onto and then that'll be taken away and put round ready for the next one like a production line. So progress is being made um, and we're off on the way with uh, the first, looks like the first boat about to come off and get ready to be loaded on. So the first boat's uh, off on its trailer, gone and we're getting ready for the one that was underneath it. This is one of the bigger boats that we have coming in today. So, uh, so that you, that you obviously can't tell what they're like when they're all wrapped in the plastic. But if you were to see that uh, on our website and take a look, that is a Corsiva 690. There's two of those on this truck. One of them uh, is still for sale um, and available as one of our stock boats. And the other one is for a customer. While the guys are getting that next boat ready, just talk about um, how these trucks work. If for anybody that's interested in the technical side of it, those frames that uh, the top boats sit on there that's all that's all removable so they arrive with that on there and then once the first boat's lifted um, the lorry driver comes round and he dismantles that frame which he's done off the front section where the guys are lifting now uh, to get access to the next boat so it's quite it's quite a simple but really clever and effective uh, way of getting these boats over here okay so now we've got the second boat ready uh, all set up and ready for the guys to lift that one off and guide it round with the ropes. So that second boat's now um, been off lifted away from the truck. The boys have brought the trailer in on the tractor um, ready in their little production line to offload that one and get that one away and on to the next ones. Added challenges we've got so many boats out for winter storage it's a little bit tight to actually squeeze the bigger boats out now they're loaded but the guys are doing well. Uh, and I haven't heard any crunches yet. So a little bit more logistics. We couldn't uh, get the telehandler 
um, up beside uh, the truck now. So what we've had to do is reposition the lorry, which isn't the easiest in this tight space, uh, so that the guys can bring the telehandler alongside for the back section of the truck. So while the guys are just uh, repositioning that lorry, just give you a walk around uh, and show you how well wrapped the boats are uh, when they come to us along the road. So completely shrink wrapped, the whole thing, um, all the way around like a great big Christmas present, which is very appropriate, um, and all underneath as well. So once we've got the driver on his way, um, I dare say there will be a, a well-earned cup of tea, and then we will start unwrapping the boats, um, and inside we'll find canopies. They're all, they all come bagged and wrapped and folded. All the cushions are individually wrapped, so I'll show you all that when we first start to set the boats up. Just to give some timings, uh, so you see how long this process is, we started about 9.30, it's now 11, so uh, in an hour and a half we've got two boats unloaded, which is pretty good going. So I mentioned a moment ago in the video what time of year it was, uh, and lo and behold, a really nice unexpected surprise, it didn't come on the trailer, but uh, the lorry driver just jumped out, and a really lovely thought, we have two uh, big hampers for all the guys working at Val Wyatt, um, with lots of Polish goodies for Christmas, that's really, really thoughtful, and I thought I'd share that with you guys. So a great moment for everybody because that's the last boat off. Uh, another big one, the uh, 690. So we'll just manoeuvre that out of the way. The lorry driver can get his uh, stuff packed up and uh, I think we'll give him a cup of coffee, send him on his way and we'll start with getting the boats unpacked. So first plastics off the first couple, uh, or first three actually. Um, time to get on board and start getting the canopies unwrapped and up in case we get some rain. So in true British style, and it is December at the end of the day, uh, we've now got rain hampering us. So it's uh, really a case of trying to push. We've got pretty much all the canopies on, just pushing to get the boats canopied and closed up. We're pretty much there with all of them, except one 690 we haven't started. Down at the end there, you can just see him, um, but that's a job for another day when it's not raining. Um, Chris up there is just getting the Bimini put away on that nice gray boat and the guys here as well are just rigging the bimini on the blue one so we're nearly at the end of a very successful day um, it's about two o'clock there's a lot of work to be done to these boats yet but we just want to get them assembled canopies up and ready for their next steps next steps on them for those boats that are already sold like the gray one and the blue one they will be taken undercover and um, what we'll be doing next is sanding down the underneath of the hull and getting them ready for primer and anti-foul and the engines going in again that's undercover we've got the engines booked and ready to come so these boats will be moved indoors for the next stage of their preparation a little bit of something different for you today i hope uh, that was interesting in its way um, as one of these boats is for sale that one wrapped up back there in the plastic i'm going to put the link for that boat uh, listing on our website i'll put that in the description to the video um, uh, please comment below if you would like to find out more about what we get up to at val wyatt um, we really like to try and make more videos that you find interesting informative and to while away those long winter days um, thanks for watching and we'll be back soon